need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can set up inventory part items within the item list to create items for which you want to track the quantity and value within QuickBooks. You cannot show inventory value for a manufacturing company or where the inventory value is changed as it goes through a process, as that is simply too complex for QuickBooks Pro to compute. However, if you have items that you purchase from a vendor, hold as inventory, and then resell to customers, you can set those items up as inventory part items for ease of tracking in QuickBooks. To create a new inventory part within QuickBooks, click the item button in the lower left corner of the item list window, and then select the new command from the pop-up menu that appears to open the new item window. First you would select inventory part from the type drop-down at the top of the window within the list that appears automatically when you open the new item window. Then enter the part name or number for the inventory item into the item name and number field. If the item that you are creating is a sub-item of another larger item category, then check the sub-item of checkbox, and then select the main item for which this item will be a sub-item from the adjacent drop-down menu. Note that when you are creating sub-items, the sub-item must be of the same item type as its parent item, and that you must create the main items first before creating its sub-items. Then enter the manufacturer's part number into the manufacturer's part number field. Next, in the purchase information section, enter the description that you want to have appear within your purchase forms into the description on purchase transactions field. You can then enter the default purchase cost of the item into the cost field. This amount, if entered, will appear by default within your purchase forms when you select the item, but you can always change it at that time if needed. Then select the cost of goods sold account that is used to track the cost of purchasing these items from the cost of goods sold account drop down field. If you have a preferred vendor for this item, select the name of that vendor from the preferred vendor drop down field. If this item is the first item selected within a purchase form, the preferred vendor's information will automatically be filled in within the form. In the Sales Information section, enter the description of the item as you want it to appear within your sales forms into the Description on Sales Transactions field. You then enter the default sales price into the Sales Price field. This amount will be the default amount displayed within your sales forms when this item is selected. You can always change it at that time if needed. Then select the tax code used by the item from the tax code drop down menu. Then enter the account used to track the amount of income generated by the sale of this item from the income account drop down menu. In the inventory information section Select the Asset Account used to track the value of inventory within the company file from the Asset Account drop-down. You can then enter the quantity at which you want to reorder this item into the Reorder Point field. If creating an inventory item for inventory that you possessed as of the start date of your company file, you can enter the Total Quantity on Hand as of the start date into the On Hand field. Then enter the total value of the quantity on hand into the total value field. Then select the start date of the company file from the as of field that will appear. Now after creating the inventory part item, click the OK button to save the item. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.